To make the peacock earrings, you need two peacock feathers that are gold. We found these at a bead show and thought they'd be pretty as the focal point of our earring. We've got beads. We have two faceted crystal rondels. These are six millimeter in a sort of teal finish, and they've got a little AB shine on them. And we've got two purple two millimeter faceted crystals also. We've got two gold earring wires and two gold head pins with a ball on the end. And we just like that. We think that's pretty. For tools, we've got the trifecta of jewelry tools. We've got chain nose pliers, round nose pliers, and wire cutters. The first thing we want to do is feed our beads onto our head pin. We're going to start with the smaller bead first. And then we're going to put on the bigger bead, just like that. And now we're going to make a wrapped loop. To do that, I'm going to use the round nose pliers and I'm going to grasp the wire of the head pin just above that bigger bead. I'm going to bend a 90 degree angle in the wire. I'm going to reposition the pliers to the top part of that bend, like that. And I'm going to make a partial loop by pulling the wire around the top jaw of the pliers. I'm going to reposition my pliers into that loop and continue the loop around, but I'm not going to finish the loop yet because I want to feed it on to our peacock feather. What I'm going to do is feed that end of that wire into the bottom of the peacock feather and just kind of snap it in into that little loop. There we go. So now the peacock feather's in that loop. I'm going to grab my round nose pliers again. I'm going to grab a cross. Hold on, I'm going to turn this so I've got it positioned right. I'm going to grab across the loop like that. Take the tail of the head pin and pull the wire around twice. That makes our double wrap of our wrapped loop. And then I'm going to use the, the wire cutters and cut the end of that wire off just like that. And I've got a little bit of an end sticking out there, so I'm going to use the chain nose pliers to just press that down so that I don't have a little pokey end sticking out. Like that. There's our first one. And then to make, we'll make one more just so you can see that again. We've got our head pin. Start with our smaller bead first. Feed that on. Our larger bead that and now we're going to make our partial wrap loop using the round nose pliers. Hold the wire right above that bead, bend the wire 90 degrees, reposition the pliers to the top of that bend, wrap the wire around the top jaw, reposition the pliers so the bottom jaw is now in that loop, and finish pulling the loop around so that it looks like that. We're going to take our other peacock feather and feed it onto that little, on the end of the wire and into the loop like that. And now we're going to use our round nose pliers again to grab across the loop. And now we'll pull the wire around that twice to make our wraps and then trim the end. that. That's our second earring. And now we're going to put the earrings onto our earring wires. To do that, we're going to open the little loop that's at the, the top of the earring wire with our chain nose pliers. And to do that, I'm just going to rotate the pliers sideways like that. It's kind of like opening a door. I don't want to pull this out like that because I'll lose that perfect circle. And I'm going to just feed the peacock on peacock feather onto my earring wire like that and I'm going to use the chain nose pliers again and rotate just to close that earring wire back like that and I'll repeat to do the other one open the earring wire just like that like I'm opening a door I'm going to feed the peacock feather onto the loop like that and then use the chain nose pliers again to close that loop. And now we have a beautiful pair 
of peacock feather earrings. Mm -hmm.